hello guys welcome to the crypto king youtube channel and in today's video i'll be giving us a breakdown overview of the step n white paper i'll be explaining it to us detailed and we so that we can actually understand the project very very well if you're just joining this youtube channel please do want to like share and subscribe to this youtube channel so you'll be getting updates i actually review crypto project give you latest crypto news that actually help you to stay profitable and stay ahead in the crypto market so let's go get started we'll be starting first of all with this light paper i actually did a video of you can actually check to i did a video on the channel on my channel about step hand so you can check the link on the description you'll see a video i made about introducing us to step in application so today i'll be talking about step in white paper and light paper so what is actually step in actually web 3 lifestyle application with social fi and game fi element where users actually get to get an nft and from that nft which is actually in the form of a sneaker you actually walk jog run and still earn its utility token gst so it's actually quite a wonderful one. We actually know normally you own NFTs and you just have it there. But right now you actually have an NFT and you actually, because of owning that NFT, you can actually now from exercising, you earn some tokens. So it's actually very wonderful, not something new, wonderful new introduction in the crypto space. We call it move to hand. So it's a good one and step N was the first. So players can to, you can actually also lease for those that don't actually have money to buy a sticker, an NFT, those that actually have can actually now lease it to persons that don't actually have money and you still make money from it and it's actually a good one so it's aimed to be the leading which is actually the leading web 3 project in health and fitness fitness and they actually profit from taking little taxes from activities that we do on the in app in on the application such as nft trading shoe minting and shoe rental and yeah and all assets and they actually tell us that all assets on the step in application are owned by the drawers and majority of the earnings yeah are made by users then they also have a profit them giving back to the society in a, in portion of they give out stop of their step in profit they actually they actually made they it goes back to carbon re removal credit on the blockchain to combat climate change it's actually a good one and actually what is step in step in is actually it says actually for everyone everyone can use it zero entry barrier and learn after end so it's actually they are like i said they are doing massively well it's actually a good one and with it's actually give 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 me five that's why i call it game five and move to end so you can actually indulge it's actually bringing in giving access to people that don't actually know about cryptocurrencies blockchain technology to actually now have a feel of it and you actually make money from it that's intro introducing the rental system for those that don't actually have money to let's say buy a a sneaker so that actually brings people to actually now you from that rental you can still make some money from there and from there you can actually get your own sneaker so it's zero entry barrier but that is coming soon and it's also for those that have not been in the crypto space before from here you can actually learn as you're earning you're also from there learning so it's actually a good one we'll know more about that in the white paper this is just the light paper like a brief summary and their mission is actually to inspire millions to be healthier lifestyle connect them to web3 and combat climate change so they have two mother tokens two tokens which is gst and gmt they are gst actually which is the utility token which you actually earn from walking jogging or running is actually has a un unlimited supply and their mother token which is actually their, their governance token is actually has a total supply of six billion this is then their token Nomics is you actually buy you go to the in app you buy a sneaker you move and you earn gst and also gmt for those that actually want to earn gmt you actually be able to earn gmt when you get to as high as level 30 and from the earnings you earn you can actually now decide to swap your gmt or gst to usdc or even to solana yeah it's acceptable then also for those that drive money to buy you rent and those that rent you get 30 percent of the earnings and the owner that gave you lease the sneaker to you get 70 percent you still move you earn gst and you can swap it to money so that's a wonderful one then the gmt to economics to economics they help to increase gst cap means rate quality and a whole lot so you can actually go to their website step n.com slash light 
paper stephanie.com and you actually see that so you actually want to read it very well then how do they burn their gst since it's actually what unlimited supply so that i actually can still gain some value yeah so they actually do that through sneaker repair as you get a sneaker as you walk it gets a bit spot you repair it so that whatever gst you usually use to repair it is being born also if you use get for socket unlocking it's still born to level up and also to get mystery box is also still born also for customization fee if you actually want to yeah use you for that for those for those that reach level 30 you can now use gmt and it's also that gmt is being born if you level up your sneakers yeah you still born gmt and also gst for shoe minting is still born upgrade is still born so the lot of money that is still made back as you people use it to repair their sneakers level up customize their sneaker buy shoe minting and all that the is all is going in for burning of the token so i think that's actually a very good one then this is token distribution the actually private sale was 16 percent yeah private sale binance launch pad was seven seven percent then the team actually has 14 percent stake advisors two percent ecosystem 30 percent and treasury 30 percent and they move to end 30 percent so that's a good one also then we have their roadmap like i said in the last video it actually was developed in august last year and that's when the idea came up and from there they moved gradually and got open beta it actually got started in from january yeah in up the inner marketplace was ready gem system ieo you can see they have moved and they are growing gradually so a lot of progress so you can actually make use of this step and they're actually in a form of applications so you can actually download it onto your android or your apple device as iphone so if you actually have anyone you can actually download it and get access to get started so that's that for the life paper that's like an introduction so we are getting value let's go into the white paper where we we'll get a whole lot of value and understand the project very well and you actually see if you it's something a good one you would love to go in so note this is not financial advice and you have just joined us please do also like and share this video to your friends and your loved ones and also do not forget to click the link the red subscribe button there and subscribe to this channel turn up post notification and to stay updated on crypto related content so let's go get started on the white paper so this is the overview is actually like what i said a web3 lifestyle with belt game fire and social fire element so we actually now know all these elements that is on in on it so like i've said it's actually has two tokens the game token that's the gst that's like the utility token well what you earn from working and the governance token gmt so let's get started let's get started so first thing first how can you get started for someone that says okay i want to let's let me give this a try you first of all have to download the step n application so that's very important on your app store or google play store you click the link here and you can download it then you can sign up you have to sign up with your email address then the verification code is sent to your email address and from there you have logged in then from there you will be also you also need a activation code to be able to log into the system to have access to its system very well so an activation code can only be gotten from their discord channel you can get that from the discord channel they drop one pay every 12 minutes you get and you can also get it from a friend that has used the platform so they actually give that to the friend so actually i'll be dropping one activation code on my the comment section so the first lucky person will get access to that activation code for free so then also after doing that you now access to the platform you can create a wallet you create a wallet and please do not forget to save your stuff seat freeze it's very very important you know in the crypto space and when you talk about wallet it's very important to save you back up your 12 seat freeze so you don't actually forget it don't actually, and don't also lose it don't allow anybody to also have access to it so that whenever let's say you change if your phone or you misplace your phone from that 12 seat freeze can get back your wallet and you don't lose anything then after doing that you transfer solana or let's say you want to use because it's built on two chains right now which was solana and the bsc chain 
So if you can want to use Solana, majorly everybody use Solana because Solana chain is quite cheaper. Yes, yeah, so you can transfer Solana into the application and also you choose the chain, then you now from that Solana you can now use it to purchase a sneaker and what you are all set and you can start working and earning. So let's get started very well. So it has different moods. Game five. Now we are talking about now the game five element. We said that it's actually Stepen is actually a project for game five element introduction of game five and social element. So now we'll be knowing more about the game five element. So first is game mode. So in the game mode, we actually have the solo mode. We actually also have the marathon mode, and we also have the background mode. So I'll be giving us a detailed understanding about these various modes. So first of all first solo mode which is actually active right now solo mode is running is what everyone does right now but the marathon and background mode is still undergoing development so under the solo mode you just get a sneaker and you move out and start earning gst so for every one energy you actually use you spend five minutes of move and hand so for every sneaker you buy you get access to two energy so in a day you work 10 minutes work and you earn GST depending on the sneaker you actually buy if you bought a walker a runner or a jogger we explain and understand that all better so there are very fact many factors that what to determines what you earn the GST you earn the GMT you maybe also earn so also very important to if you don't do moonwalking this is actually shown if you actually walk you get and if you, if you don't walk outside first of all you must be outdoor so outdoor and you must not be standing one place if you stand in one place it's not actually read to show you are moon walking you get then also gps your signal must be green that shows strong gps that means you must be outdoor like i said then and make sure you must have energy that's what i'm saying you must have energy as for you going if you are not go, if you have any energy and you are working for those that don't actually let's say you don't have a sneaker if you are doing that you're just having fun you're not making any money you get but you need energies energy is what is required to be able to be able to move and earn so so these are the things you need that that determines how much you earn the factors very important the type of sneaker you actually have there are different sneakers attributes ranging from the various sneaker attributes so the type of sneaker ranging from a walker a runner or a jogger then we also have what we call sneaker efficiency and a sneaker efficiency if you have a higher efficiency you tend to earn more gst so but yeah you have tend to earn more gst so that's also very important then sneaker comfort is actually those for at level 30 you also earn more gmt when you get there when you get to level 30 if you have a higher comfort sneaker comfort attribute you tend to earn more gmt faster then also we also depending also on your speed of movement because for every sneaker you actually buy like a type of sneaker you actually buy it actually has the required required movement you have like let's say for a walker you actually have to walk one to six kilometer per hour for it to for you to end one to six kilometer per hour so if you go for a walker you have to be in that range if you go above that range or below that range it tends to reduce 90 percent of your earnings so it's still depending on the speed this frequency so you have to take note of all that so your energy won't you won't waste energy and you won't end up not earning something good and we also have what they what they call mystery box mystery box is actually like it's given most times randomly but you need to have a good good luck good luck then you get it it actually helps you to also upgrade your sneakers attributes if you want to upgrade your sneaker efficiency to be higher or sneaker comfort be higher mystery box is there for you then we have the marathon mode which is under development like i said but i'll explain it to you so i actually understand the project that if every other every development they are working on presently is out it makes these projects very solid all right now already right now people are making money from it you get but if they bring every other thing they are working on that is in this white paper if they do everything there is in this white paper to make the program quite solid so that what is marathon mode? marathon mode is like a competition we actually know what it is so you come in people if you are interested you apply and say okay this is what now this is like a weekly they have weekly marathons and monthly marathons and they are held 
so you, you can actually choose which one you want to participate okay 2.5 kilometer 5 kilometer or 7.5 kilometer that you'll be able to hit that target in a week then when you hit that target you get and some gst also monthly marathon so if you can actually hit that you tend to end the gst that they will say so but there'll be a registration and there'll be a registration fee when it's actually out there'll be a registration fee that okay if you want to participate in the marathon this is the gst you have to pay but it'll actually be refunded after the completion of the marathon that's only if you hit the target you'll be completed but if you don't hit the target then it will be taken from you like they said here then the rewards will be different percentage based on the leaderboard if you rank you get some gst or gmt as it goes then we also have the background one background one is also a very wonderful one it's actually still under development but it's wonderful it actually says that if you actually have a step n application on your phone and you also have a sneaker so you don't have to be on the step n application for you to just walk let's say at a cap of three thousand steps a day it's already counts normally you know those like us that if you actually have a a smart wristwatch it's connect already and you actually can read the number of steps so if you can get 33,000 steps a day you tend to earn some gst that they will cap maybe they'll say okay if you anybody that gets walks up to 3,000 steps a day you earn five gst so when that is out it should be available for those that have sneakers so that's a wonderful one so now let's go to the sneakers properly and know more about the various sneakers so like i said sneakers actually have different attributes so now under the space of attributes we have what they call efficiency we have luck we have comfort and we have resilience and all these things have different meanings you get have different meanings so for someone that has had efficiency good efficiency you tend to end more gst more gst it helps you end more gst in solo mode it helps you end more gst while working then if you are in marathon mode it helps you to accumulate more faster yeah faster in the leaderboard points then lock is like i said is for actually for the for the frequency yeah it helps you to be be able to be lucky to get the raffle whenever the raffle is done to get access to a mystery box which can actually use to upgrade your sneakers then comfort is to also help you earn more gmt whenever you get to level 30 level 30 note that then resilience is actually to help you it actually helps to affect the durability of repair you so if you have a good resilience you don't spend so much money so much gst to repair your sneaker like after a walk because after every walk you make there is some gst that is there's, there's always repairs that will be needed repairs that will be needed so if you have a good resilience it means you will not really your sneaker will not actually get spoiled too bad and you will not spend so much money but if you have poor resi resilience you can actually earn good good money then the money you now spend to repair it will be high and you end up not being really profitable so it's actually very good to have so the major things if you are looking out for a sneaker our advice right now is get good efficiency good resilience and you are good to go really good to go then we have what we call sneaker types like i said that's the walker the jogger the runner and the trainer so if you actually go for a walker you are estimated to walk between one to six kilometer per hour and you actually earn four gst per energy so if you have a walker you can actually now earn you after your two energy that's 10 minutes work you earn you are expected to earn eight gst but i would say if you actually can upgrade your sneaker lab upgrade it level by level you tend to can earn higher because i personally i have a walker and i earn more than eight gst after my two energy then you have a jogger you actually have to walk between four to ten kilometers per hour and you are expected to earn five gst per energy spent so if you that for two energy spent you earn 10 gst then if you have to get a runner sneaker you are to and you have to walk between 8 to 20 kilometers per hour you get and you earn six gst then a trainer you can actually walk from one to 20 kilometers per hour and you can earn from four to six gst a trainer is actually the most costly sneaker because it gives you that it's actually like a three in one sneaker you get three in one sneaker but it's the most costly sneaker to actually buy then it's actually for the sneaker type is for you to choose for yourself what would be optimal for you like i said earlier if you actually go below or above the stimulated speed you are given 
you will get some deductions in your earnings so is what is comfortable you can actually do if it's a worker you go for that if it's a jogger you go for that then aside that your gst yeah it can different this other also factors can actually affect your earnings too you get your gst earnings as i've told you the efficiency if you have a poor efficiency you might never end up to that eight if you also have poor durability you also not end up to because you spend so much to repair it then you have to have a good signal gps signal good gps signal then we have what we call sneaker quality a sneaker quality because we, sneaker quality is like you actually how will i you actually separate your people so for sneaker quality we have the common sneakers or common sneakers real sneakers epic sneakers and legendary sneakers so these are actually when you go actually to the in-app marketplace when you actually want to buy you'll be given a filter to choose what quality so common sneakers are actually quite the cheapest sneakers uncommon are also costly like now the uncommon sneaker i think it's floor price is about 74 solana as of now as i'm time of speaking 74 or yeah 74 solana then we also have the rare what over 100 solana you get epic two you get over 700 solana to get just one but common i think common yeah right now it's actually like four solana to get one common so it's quite very cheap so it's based on what you have money to afford you go for that but it actually has its attribute for common sneakers is minimum attribute is one to ten so like now you have efficiency that's how you know that your efficiency is low it actually has a ranging of from one to ten so if you have a good efficiency if you actually have an efficiency of eight you also have now resilience of eight so you know you have good sneakers so those are what the attribute is so it's maximum minimum is ten one and maximum is ten then for uncommon sneakers is minimum is eight and maximum is eighteen then rare 15 35 just like that so from there you can try to know if you are having good sneakers and the rest then there's various what we call sneakers level as you upgrade you actually use gst to upgrade to each level so if you buy a level five sneaker you now use G when you want to go to level six you have to use gst and upgrade and when you upgrade you are given a point after upgrading you get a point that's like for a common sneaker you get always get four points and that four points you can actually now use it to upgrade your you can actually use that to upgrade your let's say efficiency or your lock or this so instead of buying a a yeah a gyms and a socket you get you can actually from up, upgrading to a different level you get these attributes and level up points and you can actually use that to upgrade so for a common sneaker you get four points per upgrade per level up you do then on common sneaker you get six points and respectively then when you upgrade to various levels you have some when you get upgrade to various levels you have some gifts i'll say it's a gift you are given so if you upgrade to over to level five you are on your lock a socket one and you also unlock shoe minting that means you can now mint a shoe i will explain what means shoe minting is if you unlock to level 10 you now unlock a sneaker lease function that means you can rent your sneaker to someone else and you also unlock socket two then you get to 15 and all that if you get to level 30 you unlock the gmt earning so that's that then we also have what we call here the co-branded sneaker in which statement works with top sneaker brands to release co-branded sneakers on their platform then we have genesis sneaker like these are the first set of sneakers on the blockchain so if you say a sneaker that it's from one to ten thousand on solana blockchain you know it's a genesis sneaker which are very high quality sneakers and you also see a genesis sneaker on bs bmb you know it's from ten thousand and one to 20,000 sneakers so we now go to gyms and sockets so under gyms and sockets we actually have users are able to unlock gyms and socket once they are sneaker which is certain level like i've said so if you move to level five you can unlock a gym and socket but you can actually also buy this this actually helps you to actually use this to upgrade your various sneaker attributes like the efficiency the lock the comfort and the resilience and if you're actually buying a gym and a socket must be actually the same if you actually want to go for efficiency you actually have to buy a gym that is an efficiency and also a socket that's also an efficiency so let's say you are given an a socket that's efficiency when you upgrade from level five you are expected to buy a gym that's efficiency and now imputing in that socket and with that you can actually upgrade your 
your sneaker efficiency so he has a lot of things about that so that just like a summary of what gyms and sockets actually is the most people don't really buy it because from upgrading to each level you get some points which that point you can upgrade your sneakers then we have what is shoe minting which is what does shoe minting is actually an event in which users can actually use you actually own more than two sneakers you actually own more than two sneakers you can now breed them together like let's say an husband and a wife come together to procreate and have children so if you have two sneakers you can breed them together which they are called vintages that's their parents and in, with that they can now actually be able to mint and give birth to another sneaker so for pair sneaker you actually buy you have a cap of seven you can mint that's how you give birth to like seven new sneakers you get that's seven new sneakers then if you that way you see if you go to buy sneakers you can see under the set of mint you see some people have actually used three of or mint, minted three sneakers already and they're not giving you you buy it then you can still mint like four more with that particular sneaker you actually bought you get so but minting actually requires gst and sometimes with gmt so and if you are minting let's say if you're, the first one you are minting from level zero if you are not minting anyone at all yeah you can it will be quite cheaper but if you are someone has minted three sneakers already and you bought that sneaker and you want to mint the fourth one the prices also go higher and you tend to mint with both gst and gmt and you note that is one of their means of burning the token whatever is being paid from the minting the gst and gmt you used to mint is actually being born so that's actually a good one so that's the dynamics you can see it here so that's that about minting so you can actually for minting you, you don't actually have to be the same you can actually use a walker and maybe a jogger you have a walker sneaker you have a jogger sneaker you can bring them together and they'll mint and they'll give birth to another sneaker maybe they cannot give birth to and that sneaker like let's say a walker they'll give it to the one that has more power and maybe still still have some little qualities attribute traits of a jogger you actually know how these things work then we also have what we call badges badges is not really active right now it's under development you see but it's actually end like it's like a reward after completing various tasks so if you complete let's say in the solo mode they give you extra energy in the marathon mode your level leader leader board points bonus also increases then on that shoe minting i have chance of losing out sneakers and a whole lot so that's about the badges so that's that for game five elements game five elements but on that game five elements we now have what we call game five system so we have to know about that about game five system so the first thing is the earning cap to mechanics me mechanics like I've said that under the earning part, under the solo mode, you actually have a daily energy and daily token cap. So for the daily energy, for only one sneaker, you actually have access to two energy. And the maximum energy someone can actually have per day is 20 energies. 20 energies. And also for daily token cap, is dependent. You actually start with 5 over 5 daily GST cap. And it tends to also grow as high as 300 GST that someone can actually earn per day you get users can actually increase their daily cap by leveling up their sneakers as you level up your sneaker your daily token cap increases you get so that's that for the mechanics then let's go to the energy system so now energy system energy replenishes after every 25 25 percent every six six hours so for example for one that has one sneaker and you earn two j two two energies per day how it's actually you don't get just get that two energy at the same time you get 0 0.5 after every six, six hours so under the space of 24 hours you have gotten complete two energies and most time most people like for me actually wait for my 24 hours to complete then i get my two energy then i make use of it then i come back the next 24 hours and just refueled and i make use of it again so that's it so for if all, someone that actually owns one sneaker you actually have access to two energy then if you want three sneakers you have access to four energy and your move time also increases so for four energy you know that move time is 20 minutes then we have access to you have nine sneakers you have access to nine energy it also increases and also this is all for common sneakers but for someone that actually owns a uncommon sneaker 
you actually own a common sneaker you, it's not two energy for one sneaker it's three energy if you actually own a rare sneaker you are having four energies to just owning a rare sneaker so you can actually see there they make more money yeah they make more money because it's more costly to buy those types of sneakers then we also have the mystery box system i've explained that how uh, it is it's based on luck so if you don't have a good luck most people well, most people are not really like me i'm not interested in the anything the luck because I didn't even need to upgrade my sneakers because from upgrading to different level i will have points to upgrade my sneaker but if you want that you have to have a good luck and you'll be maybe sometime qualified for a mystery box you should have to use gst to get it then we also have the nft burning system yeah the nft burning system actually also a that if you actually have five low quality sneakers let's say your efficiency all those things are naturally good they are not actually good if you mean burn all of them five of them for example you'll be able to mint one quality one but that actually only works from sneakers from all that qualities from uncommon sneakers rare sneakers epic sneakers and legendary so if you have common sneakers you don't have access to this nft burning system mechanism then we have the quest system which is under development which is going to involve the daily quest that's a fixed reward weekly quest which you earn gain more quest monthly quest which you have a token reward and holiday quest which is like a special sneaker airdrop then we also have the achievement setting system which is still under development in which you tend to get an nft achievement system you tend to get an energy an nft which that nft can be traded on the blockchain can be traded you get then we also have the anti cheating system you know to, you are supposed not to cheat the game you know it's a game kind of and most people always find ways to cheat so they actually have this anti cheating system in place so that for those that actually want to cheat the system they have a way of getting you caught and you pay for cheating the system so first thing first like i said you actually have to always be outdoor and you actually have to be in motion and you don't have to most people are using try to use different tricks you actually let's say you tie your phone for example on a dock or something that'll be doing the movement for you not a human being so they will actually note that that is that and you not end so you can see these are the various examples of cheating the system gps smoking smoothing or hacking you be you are cheating that means you are cheating and you not end and they also reduce your touring score then you also have motion simulation most people are hacking you get you're using something like an animal to move they will know they are cheating and you not end and reduce turning score then if you move with multiple phones mobile phones multiple phone mobiles with step in activated at the same time because some people you can actually have let's say three two phones and you all have step in inside them and instead of walking you know you're actually normal so after each energy so using your energy you're supposed to go to that next phone and do it, but you want to do the three at the same time that's just in the system they'll actually know that you are cheating the system and you will not end and you, you will not end anything so it's actually bad also using animals you will not end but this with this way you, you are earning it's not cheating if you run with a group of friends which all have activated the pen activated you are not earning if you also work with two phones but only one is act step n activated you are not cheating so you still earn then note moon walking is not also it's not cheating you will not lose anything moon walking is just like maybe you walk and you stop somewhere to maybe to talk to someone and the rest that's moon walking you don't you're not cheating and you're anything then we have that tax and fee system this is like where they actually make money they make money from the in-app so from the platform they earn two percent royalty fee four percent shoe minting they get two percent and rentals sneaker rental system they actually get eight percent so that's that everything about the game fire systems game fire elements and everything about that so we have to continue with the social element if you're not joining this channel please do well to like share and subscribe to this youtube channel please subscribe and turn up post notifications so you always get updated about whatever crypto related content i actually drop so let's continue the social file element and under that we have what we call sneaker customization and what that means is that at level 30 a user can actually a level 30 which you actually use gmt you actually use gmt or the yeah, gmt to customize your sneaker which you can actually change it to your a name add a code add a strat boot points and the rest so you can customize it to how you want it so those are the benefits you get 
when you are level 30 you can customize your sneaker but it's not available right now it's not available soon then Shosha Fi systems would have naturally revealed us what the Shosha Fi systems actually really is but they say it will actually be reviewed when they have committed all their game file elements you can actually from looking at their game file elements and game file systems they actually actually can actually keep to their words and do everything there they make it makes the project very sweet and i think very rich so and i believe social social file elements is that's like i believe it will be like let's say there'll be a social like social media yeah social media whether what actually social files and which you can actually communicate with other users of the platform in the in-app maybe and yeah relate and maybe from there still end because the file is there then let's go to other systems that it concerns we have what they call the inventory system this is actually it tells us about two different spaces that a sneaker you can actually own you actually everybody owns one space the user owns but the user can actually end, end as high as can own as high as 256 sneakers then you also can have is one space where you have gyms mystery box and shoe box and you can actually cap as high as 500 of them if you actually need that and we have the notification system which is under development which you actually know like using a mass a phone you have notifications on your yeah you have notifications so they are building that thing we should be able to still see your earnings let's say yeah you have notifications of your earnings and everything you do on the mobile app then we have the activation code system i was talked about that that you actually need this actually is an invite only game which actually earn one activation code like for example for me use the actually have a sneaker you actually add an activation food good for every 10 energy you spend so those that actually have more energies can actually when activation could fast and you actually use that can only hold one activation at a time then until it's used so when you have activation could it's just something you keep something you share with other persons so that they can actually use and come up into the platform and from there you can actually they can actually get get more activation code then we have the marketplace the marketplace is where we you go you buy you sell you rent your sneaker you get so that's the marketplace then they are bringing in the rental system which you'll be able to rent your sneaker to those that actually don't have money to buy a sneaker so it's actually coming soon and yeah it's coming soon and to be a lovely one so you can actually earn a sneaker rent a sneaker per day per 24 hours and after that it returns back to you you repair it the person gets his 30 percent you get your 70 percent then we also have a credit system for you to be able to rent out your sneakers there will be some things you have to say like they say it's going to be in the form of a quiz you have to take and if you actually score out of at least two over five you can start renting your sneaker that is actually to help you understand the whole make sure you actually understand the whole platform before you think of renting out your sneaker so now let's check about the token token nomics we have like it's actually i told you because it's two different tokens the game token which is gst which is called green satoshi token we have the governance token which is gmt which is green metaverse token and from the white paper we checked about the light paper it actually showed us a lot about its token distribution and investing then gst and rice is unlimited and unlimited supply and you actually end from the solo or background mode that's how you end these are their various contract addresses in respect to the different chains then this is their burning mechanics from shoe they burn gst from shoe maintain repair leveling up of sneakers gyms upgrade and unlocking socket then let's check a look at gmt gmt the supply is total supply is six billion like i've said and this is their contract i just can check it out and this is their best team this is the best thing is 30 percent of the total gm to be distributed to users through move and end and governance participation to ensure the longevity of the stepping project the total release of gem to be half every three years so you can check more information on the light paper i think that was the first thing i talked about in this video is their ending stages their mechanics and everything you actually need to know about the gmt and they are going to be i think they are okay working on is also is a governance token they're also working on staking so you can actually from gmt you stake try like still n i think n and also have some power in making some decisions as governance then gmt part b coming soon 
So this is a governance and ecosystem fund. All GST users spent in the app are born. And then team profit is from Metori, what team profit, royalty fee, platform fee, and royalty fee. And yeah, you can actually see it there. Second, and this is their governance, voting power. So if you stake your GMT for this particular period, these are the voting powers you have to have. You stake it for as high as three years, you have like 64 with like voting power. And this is their ecosystem funding, their fund. So they also have a, it's a decentralized wallet, which is where you can actually, we support, support two chains, Solana and BNB. They might get more chains in the future. You can never tell. And you can actually now swap a trade so they have a function with liquidity you can actually after getting the gst for example you earn it you actually can go there and swap it to use solana or the usdc and they also have a wallet backup function that the decentralized wallet is coming soon which will offer multiple chains assist asset deposit and withdrawal like i told you and a new i new i ux and also nft profile picture for ethereum and solana then they have a, so a decentralized exchange which own multiple this decks called Dua and you can read a lot about their decentralized exchange. Mm -hmm. Then they have the carbon offsetting, which is their the profits they actually make, they give it to combat climate change via carbon credits. It's actually not really in process now. The donations got to be kind of like okay, and they also have a donation system, but that is under development. But from their profits, they have already started doing that. But they have a donation system where users like I that actually earn GST you can actually say, okay, we noted donating some of our GST for that purpose too, and it belongs truly. Then, privacy system they actually said that you know, actually know we are giving out our data, like you use your email to register on the platform, but they will actually not have any interest in profiting with users' data, so they're actually following strict google and apple privacy policies so we should be secure that our information is secure with them then we have a good security you also have now right now they are stepping smart contracts audited by very lock solutions you can actually check it out for more details there and also for your security as a user they actually added this to google 2f authenticator to safeguard users of their transactions and their change users information so you can actually go and activate your google your Google, yeah, factor to a FA authenticator factor for your security. Then change lock is actually giving us a brief rundown of all the updates that have been happening and the dates and what updates they have been doing. So you see, the first one was 9th of January. So this were the updates, and they have had, had been updating it to us. The present one is 8th June. That was last, I was the last week. Yeah, last week this was the last update so that's a brief i think not a brief it's that's a complete rundown of step n white paper and we tend to understand i've tried to explain step n white paper so you actually do more of your research and if you're interested in getting a sneaker i will still doing a video a live video on me buying or purchasing another sneaker and every how to maneuver the system and everything so i'll be doing another video expect another video from me soon